and assalamualaikum. This is my assistant for this video. It has been a while since we've last filmed because a lot of things going on and now London is in tier 4. We're basically in lockdown so Christmas going to be on our own. For this video, I've decided that I want to try British Keropok or British Crisps. Americans say chips and to help me with just, that just to interject the americans are wrong chips are what you get from a fish and chip shop we malaysian call it chips because too much american influence in malaysian english no i think the real reason is you don't know how to say crisps it took you a while to get the hang of it didn't it crisps anyway i have my assistant here or my permanent guest to select five crisps from his childhood and I'm gonna try and tell you guys if we Malaysian missing out right let's start I think we could start with a straightforward simple classic I, th I think maybe the mini cheddars this one Jacob's mini cheddars I thought Jacob's is they do crackers. crackers they also do mini cheddars biscuit. so this was a staple in my lunchbox at first school so it lunches. says bake with real cheese yum I think he's very excited to join this video because he gets to I'm gonna get to eat, eat all the leftovers. Left Ooh, it smells cheesy. Yeah. To be honest, I never had this before. Excellent. This is not crisp. This is straight biscuit, mini biscuits. Uh, they're Look kind of it. a bit biscuity, but they're not sweet, they're savory. It smells cheesy. It's basically biscuits. This is not crisps. This is not karopop, mm. guys. You know in Malaysia, we have fish-shaped crisps. And this reminds me of that. Mm. No, we're not missing out. Except there's a lot of cheesiness in, cheesy. in this. But this is not crisps. Crisps. Not crisps. Next stop, let's go for something a bit simpler and definitely a crisp. We'll <coughs> mm -hmm. go for the squares. Ooh, walker squares. I never had this before. It's squares and this is salt and vinegar. They're like the normal crisps, but it's a bit thicker and they're square shaped. Oh, look at that. They're kind of similar to quavers, but not so fluffy and airy as quavers. Ooh, very vinegary smell. <sighs> You're not a fan of salt and vinegar? Very strong. I love salt and vinegar. The stronger, the better. Mm. I don't think we have something like this in Malaysia. This kind of um, uh, flavor profile. Oh, I'm probably very picky. I'm not gonna eat vinegar. Kau gila makan cuka. Mm, salt and vinegar. It's it's sour and salty, and it's quite hard as well. It's, mm. It doesn't melt in your mouth. You don't like? No. Weird. I'm fine with the texture. I'm not fine with the flavor. Very sharp. But it's clear too. It's like it's 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 square. Mm. No, no. This is not square. It looks rectangular. That's a lie. You are not squares. Ugh. It's very sharp. And I don't like my crisps like that. Or in a keropo, kita na enjoy just like yum yum. You don't want to eat and you're like, oh okay, let's move on. The next, next one, okay. Please. Childhood favorite, hula hoops. Hula hoops. You know what? One of my boss, well, my ex boss, loves hula hoops. So last time when I was in Malaysia, and I came to the UK. I bought her hula hoop. Surprisingly, I don't know what's so yummy about this. If it's like hoops like that that you put in your fingers, like ring, mm. we've got something like that, and it's called uh, the one that I love is super ring. It's cheesy. Mm -hmm. So obviously these come in all sorts of flavors. I picked a selection of flavors here. This is potato ring, so I suppose this is the origin. Mm. Ooh, my gosh! Will you marry me? No, you're not supposed to eat them. As a kid, when you see something like that, you're like, "Hang." You're supposed to put them <laughs> on your finger. Um, so you put them on your finger. It's not too bad, but it's quite hard. It's quite. Mm. It's quite difficult to chew. Ha, 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 ha. 
So as a kid, you love it because you can do stuff like this. Really hard and you need to bite it. Probably it's just me, but for me, like crisps, karopok is something that you need to enjoy without having to work hard to bite it. Just like remember tam tam. You don't like. It's no, they're like, quite, they, they do need crunching, but they, mm, they break very easily. Yeah, so, no, I don't think we're missing out at all. Let's try the fourth one. Another childhood favourite that I didn't get to have very often, Monster Munch. Oh my god, I can't imagine as a kid I would love this mm. because it's so cute, it says Monster Munch and uh, I'll show you guys. This is pickled onion flavour. My actual favourite would be Flamin' Hot, but uh, we couldn't find that Get in the shop. That. How cute is that? They're monster feet. Oh, 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 oh. We can just yeah. play with it. It's monster feet. They're meant to be the, yeah, the hands and feet of the monster. These are probably a bit less crunchy. They're more... Um... Okay, this is a proper karopok texture that I'm, I have mm. in mind. It's like, you know, you can see the pocket, air pocket yeah, and it's stuff. Full of air. It's, it's, this is crisp in my mind i'm a monster <laughs> so cute normally i don't like onion well this is quite nice still vinegary well the onions were pickled i've tried one the flaming hot probably why i like that it, one is better pickled. i think if you try it you're gonna like it but this pickled onion is not the sort of flavor mm. i'll go for but the flaming hot yummy this is just super cute i like it can be childish and play with mm. it and then dish you're supposed to go that way. I I'm slapping you. Dish. Dish. I approve. Yay! Oh my god, this is the first one that I approve. Can't believe you don't approve of mini cheddars. They're this amazing. is not crisps, guys. This is, like, seriously, this is straight up biscuits. It's like mini biscuits. It's in the crisp aisle. Alright. Last and one. Jaffa cakes are in the biscuit aisle, so I, yeah, sometimes it's weird. You know these British people, sometimes they're confused. Do you want Brexit or do you not want Brexit? Anyway, sidetrack. <laughs> Let's try the last one. Knickknacks. Another one I didn't get to eat very often, but I really loved them when I could get them. <laughs> Is this nice pretty? and spicy. They look a bit like, um, well, I always remember as a kid thinking they were a bit like twigs off a tree. Oh, I know this. Looking at this, so we have Twister. It looks like Twister, but I think Twister is a bit... I think these would be more like what you're thinking, softer. This is crisps. This is my definition of crisps. It does... Like a good um, expression. It, it does remind me a lot of Twister. Is it from corn? I rem yeah. I remember yeah. the flavour being stronger as a kid. Yum. I like this one. Mm. Mm. Approved. Approved. So out of these five, Chris, you like, you like these two. Not this flavor. I like the flaming hot one, but this is yummy and fun. But overall, it's not too bad. Yeah. My childhood, Chris, is you know tam 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 tam. I like tam tams. We always have some in the cupboard. Exactly tam tam. And then Twister, I said just now, my absolute. <clears throat> absolute favorite is Mr. Potato. It's Mr. Potato the <coughs> Pringle knockoff. No, no, no. This is different leg, brother. Mr. Potato is way better than Pringles for me. At least the one from the packet, not the one from the top. Okay, if they come from a packet, I'm willing to accept they're, they're different. They are different. Because Pringles don't come in packets. Mr. Potato, Mr. Potato. That's the, the, that's the song. It's so yummy. This is my favorite, Walkers. Well, these are the bog standard, plain straight up. When you say to an English or British person crisps, this is what they think. So the eyes have it. The eyes have it. <laughs> Somehow reminds me of Mr. Potato. Sadly, they don't have in tomato flavor. So this is just a normal mm. salted, Our, our box standard salted. flavor is just salt. Just salt. Do you know why it's called ready salted? Because it's already salted. Because originally when crisps first came out, they didn't come ready salted. They came with a little packet of salt in the oh, bag like and you had, to salt, you had to salt your own crisps. We have something like that. Well, it's not salt. It's like flavoring mm. to it. But I think a lot of us would like this. Yeah. Box standard, most popular, I believe. Or highest selling. When we get to go back to Kampong, you can buy a selection of things and do a video of me trying them. Overall, 
we're not missing out too much guys don't worry about it anyway that's just my opinion of course thank you so much for watching click the like button if you like this video and consider to subscribe stay safe and take care bye christmas eve and we're eating crisps <laughs> sad we are just going to munch 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, it wasn't a script